This is not going to be a, a broadcast defending or tacitly approving terrorism. But it's not going to be an apologist broadcast where we only speak about the perpetration of terrorism and these heinous crimes that we are seeing that continue, like the recent murder of this school teacher. But we're going to talk about the middle way, about being balanced, about how we should speak and how we should behave. So So, brothers, sisters, with what happened recently, it was heinous. Decapitating a teacher? Because, and we don't justify what he was doing with wanting to reproduce the cartoons and asking the Muslims if they would be offended, they should leave. We don't justify that. But neither do we justify that he should be killed and mutilated in the way that he was mutilated. There's no justification for either act. There is none. I want viewers, non-Muslim viewers, to understand. They need to understand one thing. That's it. Yeah. The status <laughs> of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in line to our mothers who are up there is like the sky and the earth. The love we have for Prophet Muhammad وسلم, our mother's love, which is intense, pales into insignificance when it, we compare it to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and that is for every Muslim on this earth. Now, that's not a threat. That's not at all a threat, but it's to emphasize the deference we have for him. But also I want to emphasize this, and for Prophet Jesus وسلم, and for Prophet John Yahya وسلم, and for Prophet Musa and Harun and Ibrahim and Suleiman and Ishaq and I can go on and on and on. So if anyone turns around and says, oh, he's just talking. No, no, no. That's the love the Muslims have for the prophets of Allah.